I said let's have lunch. I meant let's have lunch in a restaurant. No time. Besides, standing up eating, I think it's better for digestion anyway. You know what I want to talk to you about. Dad, please, I can't today. You know how hard it is to have my two daughters not speaking to each other? OK, well, try being one of the daughters. I mean, she won't return my calls. I've tried leaving messages. I've tried email. I mean, I've tried, but at a certain point, Dad, you just you got to say enough is enough. So you're giving up on your sister. Is that it? I really miss her. I know. What can I do? Nothing. That's why I didn't want to talk about this. This is what I'm afraid of. What? Come on, Dad, it's always the same. It's always you and me over here, and Sam and Mom over there, and Sam, she'll just get mad if she thinks that you're on my side. I'm not taking sides. I want my girls to make up. That's all. Let me speak to her. Sometimes the fight gets to a point where you need a mediator, someone with perspective. I gotta get back to work. I love you, Dad. I love you. Thanks for the sandwich. You stupid, stupid idiots! We only filed, sir. If it's filed, it's public. You think people sue the Premier of Ontario every day? It's news. You want to know who just called me? Who, sir? Shorty Williams. You want to know who Shorty Williams is? Uh, who's Shorty Williams? Shorty Williams happens to be the man who arranged at considerable effort and expense a seat at the Premier's table next Sunday. That's right. I happen to be a card-carrying member of the Conservative Party. I also happen to be a card-carrying member of the Liberal Party, but that's irrelevant. What's relevant is that I'm going to have to wait till the next government is in power before I can dine with the Premier. Because Mike Harris is not going to want to break bread with some bastard who's suing his ass. Idiots! More importantly, what do you think the Police Services Board will say? Oh, I wouldn't know. I think that they're going to get that same message. And as a result, when they look for our next chief, they're going to want to find someone who can regain control of this force. Is that a campaign speech I'm hearing, Dave? Chief Buchanan and I didn't always see eye to eye, as you know. His successor has the opportunity to make things right, to get the uniforms back on side with the brass. One of their own. Someone who's walked that walk. I'm mulling over my options. Yes, of course you are. The uniforms are going to watch how you handle Constable Wickman's case very closely. Are you cautioning me or giving me advice? I'm simply asking you to treat a fellow officer with the dignity he deserves. Constable Wickman will be treated the same as any other suspect. You see, Kay? That's the difference between me and you. In my eyes, a fellow officer isn't like any other suspect. He's one of ours. A hundred thousand is a respectable number for a first album, honey. It's not the home run we were hoping for, but respectable. The video is doing great in Europe. Kudos on that. I want to do my own material. I think part of the reason that the album didn't do so well was because of the songs. Uh, don't get me wrong, they were good songs, but they just weren't me. Weren't you? Look, I've been writing all this time, and I have about an album's worth of songs already. So you're like the next Willie Nelson, right? I can play some of them for you. Do you think we could find a guitar around here? Don't worry about that. You want to sing your own song? Fine. I'm not opposed to it. But you're going to have to find a producer who agrees to it. And we're going to have to approve of said producer. Hey! I'm sorry, Miss Callum. No music. Uh, excuse me. Isn't it one of the rules of the road? The driver controls the radio? Not during her driver's test. Make a left. Absolutely not allowed. Courtney, give me the deeds. If you do not get off the phone and resume driving immediately, you will not get your driver's license. Okay, ask her, is she sure the dress isn't maybe like terracotta or something? Pretty please. I gave you that nice tip about pastels. <clears throat> Are you sure it isn't terracotta? Yeah, I'm sure. It's definitely orange. Tell her she can get the dress if I can wear a Jimmy Choo's. Get the dress, but you have to let her wear your gym shoes. Goodbye. <clears throat> Miss Callum, I take it you're used to getting what you want. Well, yeah. The truth of the matter is, while you handled the car quite confidently, you seem to have a very real problem staying focused. But it, it's not something you can flunk me for, right? <clears throat> you pass. <laughs> oh, 
sorry. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Johnson, thank God. I was starting to think I was going crazy. You look good, sir. Thank you. And who are you? <laughs> Very funny. You know me. Young man, I never forget a face. The hygiene guy. I hardly think so. Now, kindly step aside. What, what's, what's going on? Harvey! Thank God, you would not believe what's happened to me since I left you. Do you know this man? Uh, yeah. I've never seen this man before in my life, boss. I want this man removed. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Harvey, you gotta help me! What are you guys doing? It's already been done. It's not I can't hear you. It's can you hear me now? What did you say? Wait. Oui. Can you hear me now? Write that down. Are you people trying to go out of business? Why, what do you mean? Does, uh, does this look familiar? Yo quiero Taco Bell. This guy is amazing. Come over here, John. <clears throat> it's uh, George, sir. Of course. Come over here, George. We're working on a new beer campaign geared to the African-American demographic. What's your reaction? Well, sir. <laughs> What's up? What exactly do you mean? Uh, what's up? <laughs> uh, what's up? I've heard enough. Brilliant. George, I want you to go down to personnel right now. Uh, I already work here, sir. That's right, George. You already work here. But would you mind doing a guy a favor? Could you go down there and humor me by filling out some paperwork? Hmm? If you insist, sir. Thank you, George. And George, look, your friend Harvey can go down with you. Don't let him out of your sight. He may be a kook, but he's an advertising savant. And I want him. George? Maybe you need something more. How about the NFL, NBA, MLB, NASCAR? If you can come up with a sports-related acronym, we've probably got a fathead for you. The biggest names and moments captured at the height of intensity, plucked from the playing field like ripe fruit that will smack you in your ear hole. Nice work, fellas. Hall of Famers, ex-gamers, QB sackers, revitalized Packers, I'm starting to rhyme and I like it. Fathead, a passion that's been building and building, so put it in your building. <laughs>